What was your YouTube channel? I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm working on it, y'all. Working it's on bad. it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I would just say this our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel. <laughs> welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Not quite on YouTube, but you know, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. So hey guys. So just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on some protective styles to help you get through the next few weeks, months however you know however it gets to go so this is my girl Kalia hey it's my yeah. model today <laughs> and I am mismatching but it's all good you know it's all good it's all good so as you see she has her hair in four sections now her hair is freshly shampooed and conditioned um, this is a trick that we like to use for thick curly um, and even tightly curled hair we'll put it in four sections turn your head just a little bit Leah so they can see Yep, so we literally just have it twisted in four sections. And then she put clips on the end just to keep the um, the braids intact while she shampoos and condition. And what this does is it just makes it a lot easier to manage the hair and maintain it while you're shampooing. And it cuts down on getting hair all over the house because I just, I'm not a fan of having hair all over the house. So she actually did her own um, shampoo and condition. So I'm just coming in with a style. We are going to do some mini twists. Um, we wanted something that would be easy for her to just ma maintain. Um, you know, it's something that she can just kind of wear, you know, as she goes back and forth to work. Not too much uh, pressure, not too much stress. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going through and just kind of finger combing her hair. I just want to loosen up that plait. Now, the good thing with, with mini twists, you don't necessarily have to have super, super straight parts and everything doesn't have to be, you know, extremely neat unless you're just that meticulous. But most of the times, once the hair starts to swell up, you lose the part lines anyway. So, Leah, I'm going to have you just turn your body. We're working in a, in a small space, but I figured that, but this had the best lighting, so I figured we would just do it here. Um, I may have another area in the house set up soon, but... Baby steps, guys. Baby steps. So I'm just going to start with um, with my products. I'm using the uh, Care Care. This is one of my favorite conditioners. It's the Natural Textures Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some of that on. And I'm working in sections. Uh, you see, I have not taken all of her hair out. And it's already been um, detangled. But of course, I'm going to go through and detangle it as I'm working. But I'm keeping her hair in sections just so I can get some moisture in there, some products. I'm sorry, it's already moisturized, but I wanted to add some um, additional moisture and some products. So I'm just gonna work in sections. So this is a good trick, especially if you have um, you know, children that has a lot of hair, they may even um, be tender headed. This is a great way to just cut down um, you know, on the pain and make, it, make wash day a lot more um, simplified for you guys. So as you see, I'm just working it all through. I started on the ends and I'm working my way all the way up to her scalp. I'm just gonna add a little bit more on. As you see, her hair is colored. So anytime you wear color in your hair, um, permanent color, even semi-permanent, you want to make sure um, that you add a lot of moisture when you're doing a protective style. Don't hesitate on using a lot of product because if you're wearing a protective style, you're not going to actually style your hair for, you know, a few days or, you know, uh, weeks or whatever. So you want to make sure that you load it up with plenty of product so that way it doesn't dry out. And that helps to avoid any additional shedding um, and unnecessary breakage. So to detangle, I'm just going to take a section with my fingers and just kind of part the hair with my fingers. Because like I said, we don't want her to be too uncomfortable. I'm going to use a clip. You can use any kind of clip that you have at home. I'm just using um, what we call, I believe we call this like a claw. I like these types of clips because it just holds so much hair. And it just makes things very easy. I'm using my wide tooth comb. And I'm just going to start towards the end and then work my way up towards her scalp. So this is the ends, mid shaft, and then up towards her roots, honey, the scalp area. Because <laughs> down, a lot of pain. You don't even feel it. For... You don't feel anything, huh? No, not really. 
And see, that's what I like because I'm very tender-headed. I've been <laughs> very tender-headed all my life. <laughs> so I guess I'm assuming that was a gift, but I've, I'm always very cautious of making sure that, um, you know, you're comfortable when you're getting your hair done, whether you're doing your own hair or you're styling for someone else. So we went ahead and just got that detangled. So I'm going to go to my next section because I like to make sure that the hair is completely detangled before we start twisting. It just makes for um, a smoother transition as you're twisting, makes it a lot easier on you and um, your child or yourself, client, whoever you're working on. I'm actually holding the hair too. So that way that takes a lot of pressure off of... Um, and you know add tension on the hair so that way it takes a lot of pressure off her head so she's not constantly because if I don't then she's going to be moving with me so I like to place my hand and just add a little bit of tension so that way I can focus on the area that I'm combing and as you see her head's not jerking back and, but if I was going like this she would jerk backwards so and that's it a, <laughs> oh and it hurts <laughs> and it hurts so by putting some tension on the hair I can comb through those curls and detangle without causing any pulling or pressure on her scalp. So now I can start slowly moving my way up. Her texture is starting to change. Her hair gets a little bit more um, tighter as we move up the head. So I wanna lift this section up and then kind of flip it over so that way I can make sure that the underside is detangled. There we go. Now, of course, there is a little bit of shedding that happens when you are coming out of her protective style. She was actually wearing her hair in more of a um, natural puff. So, of course, that doesn't really get combed out every single day. So that's why we want to make sure that we are going to detangle as well. Now, once you get most of those tangles out, now you can sort of release the hair and just go through and comb. So I'm going to do the same thing for this section here. Now for tighter, kinkier textures, you can also spray water as you're working. What that does is as the hair starts to dry and starts to mat, when you add more water to the hair, that just releases those curls and helps to provide a lot more slip. And it hydrates the hair as well. Because a lot of times when the hair is dehydrated, that's where you start getting a lot of tangles and kinks. There you go. So I'm just going to get those little, that little bit of shedding there. That's normal. Hair is supposed to shed every single day. So don't panic when you do have some shedding. I know that sometimes a lot of our favorite, um, you know, people that we may watch on, t you know, online, they don't always show, you know, their shedding or, you know, whatever comes out of their hair. But I just think it's important to show all aspects when you're styling. So as you see, I just worked my way up. That entire section now if all of her hair was loose it would be big and wild and it the hair would take over me so I want to show the hair that I'm in charge I'm in control and that's why I keep it in sections alrighty so look look at that it's all combed out it's very detangled so next I'm going to just take a section now, I know Kalia doesn't like them too small, so I'm going to try to do a little bit more. Do you want a more medium size? Medium big. Too. Medium big. Yeah, <laughs> she's a medium. I'm more of a, little, a small because I like my twist to last forever, but <laughs> Leah likes hers a little bit on the bigger side, so. It makes it for a nice, more defined curl that I like. Yeah, that gives it, gives it a little spike. Yeah. And that's the fun thing about the mini twist, you know, especially when you have curly hair, you can pretty much... Um, go off the size that you want to go to you don't have to do them too small you don't have to do them you know real big it's, it's all about your own preference so I'm, i just like to, again you see that i clipped that hair away and i'm working with this section here now i'm going to add on some of our uli um foam conditioner well this is the firm holding foam wrap now we have a now i'm going to use a little bit of our other conditioning wrap at the uh, label looks a little funky. We use this a lot. So I'm going to actually use a little bit of both. And I'm going to use some of the Uli Lock and Twist Cream. 
I like to mix my products up sometimes depending on the style. Sometimes you want to stick with one product line, you know, depending on like your shampoo, your conditioner. But when it comes to your styling products, you know, sometimes I like to mix and match a little bit depending on what the hair needs and what I want the hair to do. So I'm going to add some foam wrap on first. This just adds some extra conditioning and some slip and it helps to lock her twist in place. And then once she takes them out, it, it works almost like a wet set as well. So when she takes her twist out, she'll have some nice pretty curls. Alrighty, so I'm going to use um, maybe like about a little, little bit more than a dime size of the Uli twist. Lock and twist cream, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to, if you see, I'm just working that through from the ends all the way up to the root. Because we want to make sure that she has a lot of moisture in her hair because this is going to be a protective style. So that means that she's not going to actually style her hair for a few days, if not, a, you know, a few weeks, but we still want to keep her hair healthy. Let me guys show you guys what this actually looks like. And it smells, oh, it's so light and creamy. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yes, yes. it smells really good. It does, it smells so good. I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for products that smells good. If it smells good, I'll try it, like seriously. <laughs> I will try it. All right, let me step back into the camera. All right, there we go. So since we're doing them a little bit on the larger side, in the back, I never like, it's weird, depending on the person's hairline, um, some people's hair kind of slims down in the neck area. Um, just depends, but I'm going to go with um, some medium size sections. So then that way we're, you know, it doesn't take too long and that's just how she prefers it. So I'm going to take this other section and move this out the way. And like I said, keep in mind, you can also do, you know, whatever size that you want to do for you or your child. So I like to just kind of take, for this style, I'm just going to take some diagonal sections. So I, I take a box, turn your hair a little bit clear so they can see. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hopefully they can see that. And I'm just going to take a diagonal section. And then I'm going to just take one. Now I have two sections. Sorry, guys. So now I'm just going to take one side and wrap it around the other. And as I twist, I like to run my fingers down the uh, hair to me that just kind of helps to lock in the product and if there's any extra product I can kind of get that off with my fingers and then reapply it as I'm twisting so that way you don't find yourself overly using um, products the good thing about the products that <clears throat> I'm using today are very concentrated most of our products that we use are highly concentrated so that means you don't need a whole lot of it less is more and I'm just doing those two twists all the way down and I'm still rubbing the uh, product down through the strands even as I twist. I like to do a little finger coil at the bottom just to kind of lock that in. Gorgeous. And we're gonna do another one over here. I'll keep in mind, we've already set the hair with the product. So now we can just go in, take your diagonal parting. We have our two sections. I like to try to make them even as even as possible wrap one piece in front of on top of the other and you just twist honey now sometimes if you're working with um certain textures of hair or if the hair is very um you know porous it may not feel like you have a lot of product on there so don't hesitate to add more product but you don't want to you know put too much and then it makes you know makes the hair sticky and, and has a heavy residue or build up so I'm just going to keep on twisting this on down till I get to the end. Do my famous finger roll. And there we go. So I'll do, I'll do another section. And like I said, she wants hers a little bit bigger. So as I move up the head, they're probably going to get a little bit larger. Just so I can give her what she likes. I, I twist tight. I like my twists to be in tight because I want them to last. I don't want them to unravel. And I like the fact that the tighter the twist, I feel like you get more definition once you take the style out if you decide to unravel it. So this is what I consider a two-in-one or a dual style, meaning that you can start off one way, you can start off with many twists, and then you can unravel those twists in a few days, a few weeks, and have a whole new style. We have nice curly hair. I love it. So we're going to do the same thing. 
with this section. I'm adding in the foam wrap first. I'm actually going to use a little bit of both foam wraps. If I can get some out of this one. So that actually looks like this. Ooh. And I'm going to add a little bit of the other foam together. I'm going to do what we call a cocktail. And I'm going to start on the ends and work my way up to the roots. This also helps to set the roots as well. And so if you don't want your roots to be too kinky looking or, you know, too coily, you want to use foam wrap to help set the hair. So then that way it gives it a little bit more control. And as you see, I'm just going right back through and I'm using my fingers to stretch out those curls and remove any of those tangles at the end. And so now I'm going to use a little bit more of the lock and twist cream to start on those ends because that's what needs the most moisture and conditioning. And I'm going to work my way back up. Now that we have her hair loaded with product, I'm going to go in and just comb it through. And that way I can make sure that all of this product is evenly distributed all through her curls. Look at that. Turn your head for me a little bit, Leah, the other way. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. Put it down a little bit, perfect. And you can see where her hair has grown. At one time, this was all the way at the scalp. So that's one way we know that her hair is definitely growing because we can see that line of demarcation where her natural color meets the green color. Awesome, look at those curls popping. Perfect. So turn back around, Leah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I can just detangle. Now I'm going to start over in this section because there's not a whole lot of hair. I still have this hair clipped away. So I'm going to start over on this section just to make it easier to have more control. I like to run my fingers through it one last time to make sure there's no kinks or tangles. And that way I can just have a nice smooth twist and I'm just going to repeat that step on every section it's so funny because I have a lot of you know people that would say well why would someone you know pay to get their twist done when I could just do it myself and I'm like oh no problem so you know I show them what to do and I give them the product and then they call me and say now I understand why people come to the salon to get it done. It's not hard. It's just a little bit on the tedious side. And because I do mine a certain way, sometimes it's hard to replicate that at home. So a lot of people understand why we offer this at the salon. But since we are shut down and we are styling at home, I just want to make sure that I can help out as much as possible. So that way, I know a lot of us, you know, just when well, you just feel better when you when you look good, you know, you just sit around all day and you, you know, you don't feel your best. You don't look your best. It doesn't always set you up for success. So this is just one way that you, way you can at least feel that your hair is clean. It's, you know, conditioned and in a protective style. Depending on how you do your twist, you can even wear this under a wig. You can, you know, of course, put this underneath a hat, a scarf, however you want to rock them. So I'm just going to separate this out here. Because this is going to be more towards the front section. And you'll see that last section here. And I'm going to do that diagonal part with my fingers. And I'm going to wrap those strands one on top of the other. And as you see, you'll see that product starting to show up on her texture, but that's fine because we added more product on this section because the hair texture is starting to change. So this section needs a little bit more product than her first section did in the back. All right, turn around for me, Leah. Ooh, gorgeous. The good thing about these products is as it dries, that white color that you see sticking out, everything just disappears. It dissipates without any, any problems. Any extra, I always just rub it on the next section that I'm about to work on. So that way nothing goes to waste. 
So I'm going to finish these and then I will come back so that way you guys can see the results. All right, so we are all done. As you see, she's nicely twisted. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I just added a little bit more of product on her, uh, around her, uh, Oh my God, I can't talk. So I just added some um, product around her edges just to help lay it down so it doesn't look as like frizzy and untamed. And I'm going to spray some of our um, Oily Nature's Oil Complex on her hair and scalp just to give it some shine, lock in that moisture. I love this because it has that spray nozzle so you can spray it right on to her scalp. So I'm going to have you turn around a little bit for us, Kalia. All right. Alrighty, so I can just kind of spray it right around and then I can even move some of her twists and spray her scalp. And this is, we'll do this maybe um, just a few times a week, depending on how long she leaves those in. So like I said, just kind of locks in all that moisture, add some extra shine and it puts a, some um, moisture on her scalp as well. So I'm gonna have you just turn your head, Kalia, turn this way for us so we can just see all of it. Ooh. So her, her hair is still wet, and as you see, you still see a lot of that uh, white um, from the product. But like I said, as it dries, it starts to dissipate, just goes away. Turn the head for me. So as you see on those pieces that we started with first, all of that product is now gone. Put your head down a little bit for us, Leah. Perfect. So all that product, because it's drying, you can see that that product just started to slowly dissipate. So it is actually gone. Put your head up again. And so the rest of this will also disappear as their, her hair starts to dry. Now that you can let these air dry or you can sit under a hooded dryer, depending on you know how, um, if you wanna add heat, that just speeds up the drying process and also locks in those, um, those twists and those curls. Or you, if it's like warmer weather or if you're just gonna be hanging around the house all day, I would say just go ahead and just let them air dry. But I think for Miss Clea, do you wanna air dry or do you wanna go into the dryer? Right. Under the dryer? Yeah, so a we'll, little bit. Okay, so we'll put her under the dryer. <laughs> no more, maybe about 30 minutes. Um, the heat doesn't have to be extremely high. Now, she does have a lot of hair, as you see. So we may um, do high heat for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then like the remaining uh, 10 minutes, we will do like more of a low setting just to take a lot of that moisture, uh, the wetness off. I'm sorry, take a lot of that wetness off and then just go ahead and lock in those gorgeous twists. Oh, nice. 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 I know. So go ahead and turn back around for us. Which this way. We won't face the camera. All right. So hit me up if you have any questions about the products that we use. These are some of my favorite products. That that's what I have in my hair. Um, I also have coils going on and I use the exact same products. Um, and I actually sat under the dryer for my hair as well so I can lock in my curls. And it becomes a protective style because I don't have to, you know, um, style it every day or really do anything else with it. Just like Miss Kalia over here. So thank I you. I like my protective styles. <laughs> you say you like it, I huh? I like my protective styles. Yes. I don't like to be doing my hair every day, you know. That's right. That's a get up and go style. <laughs> yep. Right now we need get up and go hair. <laughs> the good thing about the mini twists, because they're, they just hang, um, you can style it. She can wear them up. She can wear them down. You know, she can pretty much do whatever she wants to do with it. When she goes to work, she may want to pull them up into a ponytail or she may want to just, you know, pull some of them back. That's you, you pretty much just kind of have a free form flow with whatever you want to do with your hair. So let me know. Hit me up if you have any questions. If you want to order any products or anything, this is what we use at the salon. Everything's available online. So thank you, Miss Kalia, for being my model. No problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> So fabulous, so fancy. Just so fancy. She's so fancy, y'all. Yes, she's so fancy. <laughs>